Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris O'Mealy. Welcome to Twitch, twitch.tv slash ckcconline. Hello to Dan Peck, who is joining me on the call. Me. That is you. All right. I'm going to play through the entire Super Nintendo library. I've played 10 games already. And there's like 725 or something like that in the North American library. So we got we got a lot to do, right, Dan? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Today on the show, Hal's Hole in One Golf. Populous. Okay. Yes. Super bases loaded. Yes. And if we're lucky, Ultraman Tours the Future and Paperboy 2. Yeah, I think uh, as we start getting into the library, I might just start playing games and, and feeling them out instead of trying to announce stuff. Because I'm like, oh, I just committed myself to five games when I announced what we were going to do. So we'll see how this goes here. I want to just want to show off my steamed hams shirt for the camera real quick. There we go. Mm. Steamed hams for the win. Oh, Burger King logo. <laughs> yes. This is literally from Hal. I'm from Utica. Well, it's more of an Albany expression. All right. And there's the one. one. Lee Carvillo's. Yes, we're going to play some Lee Carvillo's challenge. putting challenge. This is going to be interesting. Golf games can be very hit or miss on these old consoles. The NES golf game could be a lot of fun. So Hal is the name of the development company, so they named it after themselves. Okay. So Hal isn't an actual person. Oh, do we, are we going to stroke it? Should I play against Hal? Do a tournament? That's a lot. Let's just do a stroke. Yeah, I'm an amateur. I'm definitely an stroke amateur. Man, stroke man. Oh, I get a name? Alright. It's going to be one of those deals where the stars will be incorporated into my name. Oh, I spelled my own name wrong. That's awesome. I'm just Kurt. I'm Kurt. Yeah, we're off to a great start. Actually, it looks like chair. Kind of does, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. I guess I'm picking my clubs. Well, they have like the the, the normal setup. I mean, what customize, I guess. Yeah. See, I don't know anything about golf so i don't even know like what works well you here. probably could have just kept it the way that works all right let's see how super nintendo golf games come out all right whole one's a par four 403 <clears throat> yards so I... dog leg left i will say i had a ton of fun playing uh wii sports golf that was always a ton, a ton of fun. All right. Now, is there going to be any intuitive controls here, or am I kind of just figuring this out as we go? So, shot, green, and hole. Okay, well, obviously I need to take a shot. All right, so I'm going to aim my shot. Oh, Wiggy, what? The wind isn't really doing much, so I guess I can try to aim it straight. All right. It's such a dog leg left that you have to just go down. So, obviously, I want to use my driver. Yep. Okay. Okay. That seems intuitive. Wister. Okay. So, yeah. So, it's like a two clicker. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Click it once for the back swing. Click it a second time for how. how how accurately you'll uh, strike the ball. Okay. All right, that's decent. Intuitive enough, and into the sand pit. That's b -b 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 bullshit. All right, so I need to get out of the sand pit. Out of the bunker. All right, so I want to aim it that away. Right, and I want to... Mm. Open face club sandwich. 
So these are the ones that are going to get me out of the bunker, right? The irons. You want? You want? No, you want the you want the uh, wedges. The wedge. Okay. Pitching wedge, sand wedge. Sand wedge. Got it. Mm, open face, face close, glove, sand wedge. wedge. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now you're out of there, but now you're on shot three, and you're 133 first. yards. Okay. So what I want to do here is I want something like a nine iron. Not another sand wedge. Oh. And I'm on the green. No, I'm not. It rolled right back into the sand. What a load of crap. That stinks. All right. <clears throat> so let's get out of the sand wedge. And now I'm on the green. And it's going to roll into another bunker. Or maybe not. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Do I want to take a shot shot? I think you're far enough on the fringe where you're going to want to actually do a hell chip. Go for a Whoa, green. What the fuck was that? Was that something my, my grandmother was watching in the living room being really, really, really loud? Or is that actual thunderstorm coming through? Uh, it wasn't on my end as far as I could... Well, it could have been. We are expected to get storms. Let me see if that's me. Uh, there's actually a good chance that that was me that you heard. I was like right surrounded now. by a storm coming up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Will it actually hit our house? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It'll literally be like a few houses down, but not here. Oh God, that was awful. So we got to putt way better than that. He, in fact, did not get a triple home. bogey. All right. So we're off to an awful start. Well, you made it from that far, though. That's a good shot. That was a good putt. All right. Another par four. Top leg right. At least I understand golf enough to be able to pick up and play a golf video game. Wind's blowing five miles per hour, but I'm still gonna go this direction here. A bit of a boost. Oof, that was horribly off. Accuracy was terrible. So yeah, you're gonna. It's gonna go way to the right. Yep. Yep. Out of bounds. Don't worry, you did better on that hole than the Miz did. What? Miz is fucking awful. I watched I watched him do a whole Oh, like you everybody. actually watched him like play golf? I watched him play golf, yeah. Cause he did there was the um, American Century Championship at Lake Tahoe where it's like a celebrity event. And he literally went like thirteen over par on it. That's funny. So since I'm not on the actual putting green, I wanna use an iron, right? Yeah, because see... you're in the you're in the um, rough, so yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of a hump to get out of there. There we go. That's definitely us. We've got thunderstorm. Okay, so I'm really close to the green now, so I want to use. So now you're on the light rough. All right. So. So you might want to just use a pitching wedge. Okay, but I don't want to hit it too hard. No. That's the biggest thing about in golf games is like mm. actually knowing like you know deciding upon you know how hard it Cuz right there on the bottom right there it tells you like an average distance, right? Yeah. Oh, that was pathetic. That barely hit anything. Well, you're on the fairway <laughs> for your approach shot. No, no, just one hole. The Miz went like out of bounds three times off the tee shot. 
three times in a row off the tee. Oh, wow. That was awful. Oh, cool. Mode 7. Oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. Jeez. So now we're just going to... Is there, like, a mercy rule or something at this point? I mean, I think usually they make you stop once you go, like, five over, right? Yeah, but I'm, like, way over now. You're, like, doing a full backswing. <laughs> I know. Ugh, this is just awful. This is actually, I think, the worst I've ever been at a golf video game. There you go. That was much better. I literally just tapped it. Yep. Just said, well, you're that close at this point. Yeah. <clears throat> well, every game that I'm going to play is going to have a learning curve if I've never played it. So I have to just figure out how to get around it. So how many times are you going in the water? Uh, At least once. Definitely once. This one's like impossible. This one's evil. Uh, you see, that. there's the there's the thing about about um golf games from back in the eighties and nineties is they weren't based on real places, so they just designed fuckery. <laughs> Nowadays, golf games are based on real places, unless it's a cartoony golf game. Right. Like Mario Golf. At least they gave you a good drop. <laughs> you think I can clear it with the iron? You should clear it. But well, you put it right into the river. <laughs> off, the, off the pond into the river. No, I'm going to put it out of bounds. Because I hit it too, too hard to the one direction. Oh my god. Right back into the water. Our hazard. See, the thing about like some of these like golf games, I get I end up getting mad because I know I know better. Mhm. Mm <laughs> You're just like, like ah. I understand golf to the point where I know strategy. <laughs> Now I just want to whack the ball around. So, folks, I think we're closing in on the end of our time. The end of our time. Challenge. <laughs> Possibly. Yuck. I mean, this is just terrible. I did way better when I played NES Golf. And I mean, it's it's golf, right? Like, how much more can you really do with it? All right, I got to drive this thing. Gonna go out of bounds. Oh, maybe not. I guess that could have been way worse. Use an open face club. The sand wedge. Oh, way too hard. Damn. That's a shame, too, because if I had held back a little bit. Ain't that a shame? Actually, we should remove the suicide hotline thing because the number is different now. It's just like. Just oh, do we still have that? Yeah, we have the old one up. The new one up. Good idea. 
to the side. Hotline. It's like now. It's like now. Just like pound four four eight. It's like way easier. You need help. Don't be afraid to ask for it. Nine eight eight. Oh my god. This is like me when I'm playing putt putt. I get to the hole and then it's just putt around it. You'll make like that one really good shot and you'll get really close. You know what I gotta say kind of sucks about this versus NES golf? The courses are actually kind of boring. I don't know, are you getting that impression? I feel like these aren't really like exciting courses. NES Golf definitely had some variety to it. The music isn't bad, I'll say that. I don't hear it. I know you don't actually hear it, but. I mean, it's, it's obviously been like way worse. Honestly, this does help draw my conclusion that golf video games just aren't that fun, and I'd rather actually go do the real thing. Oh, I would much rather test the right speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my best shot so far, a double bogey. Oh, there you go. Because now all I'm really doing is I'm just kind of hitting the buttons. Alright, should we move to Populous then? Eh, let's finish one more hole. Okay. Why not? Well, you finish hole six, you'll have gone through a third of a round, right? So. <clears throat> you know what, though? I bet this is still way more fun than attempting to play golf on the Virtual Boy. Imagine playing golf in red and black. Yay! Only a single bogey. Alright, Career has retired from Hal's Hole-in-One Golf. Because this is actually just boring. But that's how a lot of these golf games are going to be. Oh, and there's more huh. of them on the Super Nintendo. New ranking tracks. Avril Levine, let go. Yes, huh. thank you, Jeff Trelowitz. So I actually have the cartridge for this game, and I have never played it. Tied Populous is considered to be the very first god game. Uh, I thought that would have been SimCity. All right. From Bullfrog. I mean, Populous was a PC game. Oh, it's going to be another one of these where the controls are going to suck. All right, let's do a tutorial because I don't know how to play. The A button selects instead of the B button. Americans. Okay. So this is the tutorial. So what am I doing? This isn't very tutorial. It's pointing over there to the top end of the right corner. Oh, I think, yeah. I think that's what it wants me to do. Well... There's the cursor. Hold on. How did I get that cursor up? Did I hit... Select? Okay, so select brought that cursor up. Yep, okay, I see now. Yeah, I gotta log in as CKCC online to change the thing. What thing? The suicide hotline button. Oh, gotcha. How do I... Oh, I hit start. Okay. What the hell am I actually doing? Oh, okay. Something just happened. 
it zoomed you to where there's people. Okay, I just clicked the person. What's the person doing? They're just, oh, I got two people now, okay. make them do stuff. Peter Molyneux was a jerk at his name. The main action window in my list is viewed in an isometric perspective, which is set at a tabletop. Just keep hitting start. Oh, I just made the. F okay. So it originally came out on the Amiga. I'm changing the fields around. Okay. Oh, I'm raising the fields. Okay, now I'm lowering the fields. All right, this is interesting. Just changed some something else just happened. This is supposed to be the tutorial and I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, okay. I hit the R button and did something. I love these games that you click tutorial and you have no idea. I have no earthly idea what I'm doing. I'm just literally clicking buttons and seeing what happens. This might be the shortest playthrough yet, Dan. Another game that should have stayed on a computer. There's going to be a lot of these, I'm sure. Because remember, this is the point where you might know one person that had a computer. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, not like we have anybody in the comments right now, like, encouraging me to play or telling me what I'm doing, so, like, I guess we can skip ahead. What's the next game on the list, Dan? Super Bases Loaded. Alright, a little, uh, little baseball action. Early baseball games were hit and miss, too. Although there's a really fun one on the Super Nintendo. Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball? It has Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball. Uh... The teams in this game are the Atlanta Amoebas, Boston Buzzards, Chicago Cyclops, New York Mercs, Philadelphia Hawks, Washington Weasels, Hawaii Islanders, Kansas City Kings, Los Angeles Lizards, Seattle Storm, okay, Texas so Tornadoes, and the Utah Stars. According to this, yeah, I'm being raked on just how well I play. And Ryan Sandberg is on the cover. Who should I who should I play as? I don't know. It's all made up. What's the closest best, one to the Yankees? Best team in Super. Who's this? Who's the W team? They got pinstripes. Washington Weasels. I'll be a weasel. Also, get ready for some NFL football because it's the Hall of Fame game. You know, like nice. Uh, we're going to play against Utah because why not? Oh, one of my guys' names is Shay. I got a heart. I have a glass. And an Ennis. <clears throat> I have David, Allen, Knapp. 
Seether. Knight, Morgan, Finner, and Finn. Who's got the best ERA? Allen has 4.92. This is a game that would benefit me if I knew what the controls were. <laughs> Bum-ass Corbin. Alright. Figure out some hit detection here. Play. Apparently, everything's a strike. Play. 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 B is to swing, use the D pad to change the direction. Oh. A and D pad takes the lead. On the base, and you can keep pressing your attempt to steal. Y is to bunt. L and splash R in the D pad will move your batter around, and at start, you'll call. Alright, All right, let's do some pitching controls now, because I'm out. Pitching. B is to pitch, and you use the D pad to change the direction of the pitch. Okay. So it's one of those ones where you want to throw a. You want to throw a curveball, then you make it curve with your. How do I throw to the bases? D pad? You do a pickoff with Y. L slash R and the D pad will move you on the mound and start calls time. Ball. When when fielding, if you press Y and the D pad, you will drop you will dive in the direction that you put in the D pad. But if you don't hit the D-pad, you'll jump up. Okay. And if you hit any button in any face button in the D-pad, you will throw in the ball in the direction. Oh, you got a home run. That's balls. But keep in mind when you're fielding, it's backwards. Because you are not the catcher, you are in the outfield. So left is first base. Oh, that's going to be complicated. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, you gave it home run. Wow, this is ugly. With the pinstripes. Yeah. God. Fielding is kind of difficult, actually. <laughs> Another home run? home run? Oh my goodness. That's two home runs in the bottom of the first. I'm off to a great start. Laser disc. Well, at least I'm giving the Utah home team something to cheer for. My favorite baseball game was Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, on the N64. I'll have to stream some of that. Hook the N64 up up here and stream some of that. That was my favorite baseball game ever. He's choking that guy out.
Oh, could they be any slower? Should have been a good dip. Even though there's only one out left. Durr! You, the ball definitely moves faster than you can, so it's really difficult to grab a ball when it gets hit. Whoa! Ball. Oh god, just throw it! There we go. Finally got out of that damn inning. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Remember, this is super bases loaded. Strike. 102 mile per hour. I like that they just throw it back and forth. <laughs> There's no need to be a jerk about it. Sixty-six miles per hour. Give him the old defense pitch. The angle makes it hard to tell what are strikes and what are balls, so I'm just kind of swinging at whatever I want. Yay, I got a home run. There, you've done it all. Jelko, watch. Seiko. Well, at least I got a home run. They batted their uh, their whole lineup that first inning. Yeah, they did, because I suck at this. Whoa. If anybody's watching, say hi in the chat. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what just happened. Base is clear and double. Pretty much. Triple. <laughs> yeah. This is terrible. Whoa. 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 Let's see how much better the Ken Griffey Jr. game can look than this. That's later in the, in the Super Nintendo. Yeah, it's. I mean, I already know it's going to be better. Just because I own it and I played it. <clears throat> Plus, that actually has actual teams and players. It's in, the the fielding is what's getting me. Like, it's the slowest fielding.
47 mile per hour. Bitch. And it's not intuitive. Like, I'm hitting the button to throw the second, and instead I'm throwing a first. I tried to throw the third earlier, and I threw to home. It's weird. Like, I can never tell how this is going to work. But it's the first baseball game on Super Nintendo. I suppose it could be way worse. There's no way. They're all gonna score. What's with that blowout fence? How that outfield fence is. Like. So I guess we're done. Wow, I sucked so bad they called the game. How about that? <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we're done with this one. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Ultraman towards the future. Now, Ultraman is, of course, of course, Bandai made this. Ultraman is a popular is. one in uh, Old Japan. So, Towards the Future is actually the name of one of the seasons. 13 episodes. Is that all it ran? Or do you just mean the season? Ultraman Towards the Future. Ran 13, 13 seasons. seasons. Okay. 13 episodes. So if people don't know, Ultraman is a... Yeah, it's like a Sentai-style character. Uh, where, But as opposed to like Power Rangers where they get... Out, they get a big robot they fight inside. Ultraman himself gets a big fight. That way. Your ass. You're Ultraman 2. All I'm kind of doing is just punching this thing. Baby. There we go. Ah, I can throw him. Okay, that's cool. Released in Japan. It's Ultraman. Fighting video game. It's based on the TV series Ultraman. Oh, okay. I got a nice little leap there. Hey, I want laser eyes. The Japanese version is based on the original 66 series, but the North American version is based on the series that was happening at the time. How I, I mean, that makes sense because you want to base it on something that the American people are going to have seen. This game has received mostly negative reviews due to its high difficulty and subpar graphics. The controls are kind of ass right now. I also can't figure out how to block, which is getting me killed. I don't know if there is a way to block. Ultraman Great is the ultimate warrior and protector of peace in the entire universe. I guess I'm just going to face this first bad guy and just... For aeons, he's been fighting an intergalactic battle against Gudis. Oh, well, Evil this is virus. actually kind of cool. Uh... He didn't recover any health, but I got all my health back. Well, now you're Ultraman 1. I think that's how many lives I actually have. Although, I'm, like, not doing any damage to him. An evil virus that attempts to wipe out all competing life forms. Now the Buddhist virus has infected Earth, producing a horrifying group of giant mutant monsters to carry out goal of the complete obliteration of every organism on planet Earth. Ultraman must now battle Judas and his mutant monsters on Earth. But the Earth's polluted atmosphere poses a threat to Ultraman as he has become part of, the, of a human... So it says to finish him and no matter what I do he won't go down. Jack Shindo has the ability to transform into Ultraman Great by using his <laughs> It says up finish, and I can't finish him. That's hysterical. As a one-on-one -on -one fighting game, Ultraman can punch, kick, and grapple his opponent. You know, I've heard that this game had some seriously negative reviews. 
Okay, so how do I finish him? You have to hit them with the burning plasma, apparently. However, in order to actually defeat his opponent, Ultraman must deplete the continually recharging life bar, and at the moment, and at that moment, hit them with the burning plasma, which is his most powerful effect. Alright. Well, I don't know which... how to hit that attack. Uh, that just pauses the game. Dude, this is crazy. I got him down to no health, and he's gonna kill me. Imagine buying this game for $60. <laughs> Not being able to beat the first guy. Wow, that was awful. That was worse than Super Bases Loaded. What's the next game, Dan? <laughs> wow. This is a bad streak. Paperboy 2, which was uh, at... Which was the point where maybe we'll get that far. It has only been 41 minutes into this episode. <laughs> right. Good lord. <laughs> I don't think I need to look up much for you and Paperboy here. Because it's Paperboy. You can be a paper girl. It's Easy Street. Tells you what subscribers and non-subscribers. Proposed curfew irks miners. I've been in one town where there was a curfew. It was in Minnesota. All of a sudden at like 9 p.m. they set off the uh, fire alarm. by a car. That kind of sticks. You can't, like, see the road at all, really. There's the Grim Reaper. <laughs> nice. Right into the... Mailbox, which is actually illegal. <laughs> I remember this game being really hard. On the... I never played this version. But I remember this game being really, really difficult. Oh, I broke a window. Like, how are you supposed to dodge that? You have to watch everything in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. And everything on the rest of the screen. Yeah. This is just supposed to be easy street. Oh, we're going to market. Have a newspaper, jerks. town from freaking Mary Poppins when the guy across the street is like an old Navy captain and his house is like a boat. Broke another window. There's someone upstairs. Isn't that how you make them a subscriber though is you have to break their windows or something? Zzz. Paperboy fired. Paperboy almost died. Paperboy probably should have died. I'm a paper girl this time. Always broken pa class of pains, but there's always a 
newspaper nearby. Alright, Grim Reaper, take it. It is funny that the old people live next to the Grim Reaper. That is actually pretty funny. Playing basketball. Ah, uh, didn't make the ramp. But I got the papers. You're gonna go get the papers, get the papers? <laughs> nice reference. Player one, get it ready. This is looking at girl, it looks like he's just a guy wearing a do-rag. <laughs> You're a subscriber now. Fucking gargoyles that are shooting fireballs at you. I love the old people that are just going apeshit on the swing. They're going hard, dude. They go hard all day on me. You know what? The Ric Flair, the Ric Flair retirement And then I stopped watching it as soon as it came to the end. Oh my god, a monster truck! Gravedigger's a baby face. Gravedigger wouldn't have killed me. Killed by a baby. And now by a fence. Gets full on roasting a pig, dude. I had a pig roast once. I mean, we hired a company to do it, but. Did a pig roast once. The, ice at summer camp. the isometric anger angle actually makes it hard to aim. Well, I did better than last time. Z Paper Goyle fired. You let's, fired. You fired. All right. Let's do Route 3. Do you think Veer Mahan is going to have his name changed because his name is too close to Vince McMahon? No. Because if you were going to change his name, it would have already happened. Because that's the first thing I think of, is like, jeez, that's like two steps away from being Vince McMahon. I did better as the paper girl. I should have stuck with the paper girl. You just immediately crashed. We all float down here. Okay! Sounds good. <laughs> so the sidewalk is the safe place to be on this part of the street. When I get to the next part... I have to watch out for the babies. Baby. Does the new version of Give It have the inhaler thing? Um, yes. So that's an asthmatic. That shit. Uh, this is acid, you motherfucker. <laughs> Because if you believe it, it affects them. Break a window! To the window! To the wall! Oh. Dog chasing a car, got me. At least this game is very generous with the extra lives, considering how awful I'm doing. For sale, if you're a subscriber. What the fuck is up I don't think this game's got a whole lot of logic going on behind it. My favorite <laughs> is when AVGN reviewed the original NES game, and he goes, Are you kidding me? There's a tornado right now. He goes, 
Do they really need their newspaper that badly if there's a tornado in the town? <laughs> He's like, can't I just stay home? <laughs> kind of got to agree with that. Ugh. I think I've hit an impasse on this game. I keep getting stuck in the same spot. We're at an impasse here. We're at an impasse here. What's the next game, Dan? Might as well keep going. Well, yeah, just keep on going. It's Act Razor. Oh, uh, you know what? That might be the last game. There's a good chance. Guess we'll see how this goes. Made by Masaya Hashimoto. Designer is Ayano Koshiro. The writer Tomoyoshi Iya. What? I should just spell my name wrong on purpose this time. My name is Chair, remember? <laughs> the angel has been to recover my lost strength. This is the weird one where it's like you fight bad guys, but then you like work build up city as well. That should be fun. Pretty simple controls. There's a jump button. And there's an attack button. Wonder what that is. There we go, and now I got a power up. I guess I was probably supposed to climb and slide down that thing. Would have been cool. That tree's alive and evil. He can't jump and... Oh, I guess he can. There we go. Whoa, that wall just got a boner, dude. Right? Music's really cool. That, that wall was like dearly beloved. <laughs> Has a knobby knee. A centaur? Something like that. Well, at least the game has checkpoints, that's nice. Checkpoint? Recky? Playing some Mario Kart earlier because the new tracks came up. Yeah? How is it? So I've been playing with some people. Um, pretty good. They got the Waluigi's pinball is on there. Okay, so this is all about memorizing the pattern. Go 
but it's also a lot harder than it looks. It's also like they put in the si the Sydney level from the app one. Oh yeah, the app levels are really cool. I like them. I wish there was a better weapon I could use to fight this guy. So I think there's a Paris, New York, and Sid Sydney now. Sydney. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Yeah. And of course, the last lap starts with you flying through the Opera House. Of course it does. I mean, the Paris one is literally the center of it. It's the Eiffel Tower. Where you just do like weird figure eight around the the tower the entire time, pretty much. All right. I like that I was able to get two hits in before he started, but then he just got two hits in. I mean, you know it's bullshit when the enemy has a free time with them. And they tell you. Oof. Lightning cats are bullshit. Yeah. I can see how this was a classic game, but it's got a learning curve that I can't get around just yet. It's also my first time playing it. Let's observe the people. No, I can't. All right, let's move the Sky Palace. Let's observe Bloodpool. I can't do anything until I level up. So I'm stuck over here. It's like your alien spaceship or something. This one I think I need to revisit at a later date. What's the next game on the list, Dan? John Madden Football. Uh, you know what? Let's play a little more of this and we'll call it quits. Maybe I'll save that for next time. We went six games this time. And we're playing something that's supposed to be a classic. It's just got a learning curve I gotta get around, but I can see how this one would be fun. Like, I can easily see this being a fun game. I get up there. Right, or maybe I just don't. Blue guys. definitely doing better oh yeah well i also that's the problem with being bad at a game though right is that you end up playing the first stage so many times you get good at it until you get back to the part that you can't beat oh. and now i'm just being impatient so I gotta get that health up there on the tree if I wanna face the boss. I'm not facing him with five health pieces. Nope, tree stopped moving. I'm screwed. Oh well.
Really cool music, though, I will give it that. And I know that this game has a sequel, which I'm very suspicious of is probably way better. Because I can see this being one of those games where they they start looking into it and they're just like, there's a couple of things we could fix with this game. And really make it feel like a classic. doesn't seem to be any good way to fight this guy except to maybe hide in the corner and have him try to come at me. That might be the only strategy. Which is a bull strategy, but like, it's the only one I can see right now. Duck and get your shots in is literally the only strategy. <laughs> Yay! Fillmore Act 1 clear. There's people. He says, I didn't even know Harrison was an actor. I remember getting dragged to Star Wars at 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning by my stepbrother, who had done some animation for the movie. I was sitting there watching the screen, and all of a sudden Harrison comes on, and I gasped and said, That's my pot dealer. <laughs> I guess I don't get that much of a choice. I was still able to fight monsters.
Well, that kind of changes things. I get to lead them to the monster's lair. So what do I do now? I can fire arrows again. When I lost all my health, I lost the ability to fire arrows. Which I guess makes sense, but I don't know how I got the arrows back. I guess I have to... Very nicely. Harry Potter puzzles and spells. How's that? It's for Nash 3, but it's got three gimmicks to it. for before I get back to the regular game. Always raising act. Maybe I have to take out the monster lair and leave the people. Thank you. 
So I'm kind of lost on what to do right now. I guess I'm just going to increase the city, then. Okay. What's up now? Things have been happening to me. I guess I have to lead them to the monster lair to get the monsters to stop. Sounds great. say Finally, we're getting some progress here. Supposed to do. All right. I still can't help them because I don't have any freaking arrows. Maybe we can do that other one. I guess I gotta get rid of both monster lairs. This is gonna be the main event of this game. Of this stream. Okay, so I level up with the population, that's cool.
I need to get out of these menus. Monster Lair. Nice. A strange statue. the southeast, right? So I know I can't do anything while the town's under construction, so while it's getting destroyed... appear to build anymore. I guess I gotta take out the lightning. Oh, I gotta take out the big rock with the lightning. Now I'm level three, yay! me to actually use the lightning bolt at. See, where's the thing where it like let us listen? Under the big rock below the pressable southeast of here. What's a pressable? Precipice. A precipice. 
So where are they looking? The cliff, I guess? I, mean, I guess this rock. That's the only one that makes sense. Magic token. More? I have multiple offerings now. I think I've done as much as I can do here. Let's save our progress. <clears throat> and then... Oh, wow! Uh, this is gonna be a revisit. Okay, very good. And... I think that's it. All right, Dan, pull out the list, would you please? So we started with Hales, a hole in one golf. Uh, D tier. I can't really say that Hales, hole in one golf was a lot of fun. Um, I've definitely played better golf games. So meh. Populous. D tier. Couldn't figure out what to do. Nothing intuitive. Can't pick it up and play. Feel like I need an instruction manual. Super bases loaded. D tier. Um, early baseball game. I'm not going to fault it, but so many games have come along that have been better. That one just didn't do it for me. Tremaine towards the future. Uh, this game was garbage. This was a garbage game. So that's going to be our first F tier. The controls were awful. And you just couldn't figure out what to do. And then I hear that it's got a reputation. Well, it earned it. Le Papier Boy 2. Paper Boy 2 gets a C tier. With a little more practice, Paper Boy games can be fun, but they're not... It's a good game, but the uh, execution has never been great on Paper Boy. The isometric angle with the lower third being where the play takes place has never been a, a good idea. They had an opportunity to improve this game from the original, and they did not. So, C tier. And Actraiser. Actraiser's B tier. I was having fun playing that, and I want to revisit it. That's a B tier definitely a b tier all right we are 16 games in we have had one s and zero a's uh there's some a's out there there we're just not there yet i have a, there's a couple of games that i've that i've owned and played that are definitely a tier um we'll get there we will absolutely get there um upcoming let's, games yeah let's john let, madden football yep that's gonna be an upcoming which title. is gonna be a big deal because he fought for them to do an 11 on 11 football game and mm -hmm. they had to bust their ass to figure that out. Plus, uh, RIP. There's legend. RPM Racing. Okay, another racing game that could be hit or miss. Crew Golf Classics, Wiley Country Club. <sighs> We're not even 20 games in and I got to play another golf game. All right. So we'll probably get through those. And then also Super Tennis. Tennis games can be fun if they're done right. And then after that's final fight. Um, final fight is a hit or miss fighting game. I think I don't recall if I've ever played Final Fight, but I'm willing. Final to give Fight it a is chance. a beat em up. Oh, it's a beat em up. I thought it was a fighting game. Okay, that's fine. Beat em ups can be hit or miss. So, 
And you're going to definitely want to stop there if we get there, because after that's Final Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 2 might be an entire stream. So, so yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll see where we are. Um, but yeah, so we're up to, we've now played 16 games on the Super Nintendo. We got six off the list on this stream, and some were definitely better than others, but I had fun. So, the idea will be to play them all, and uh, I guess we'll be back next Thursday for the live stream. For those of you watching on YouTube, come back and join me next Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to play through more Super Nintendo games. Dan, will you be there? Should be. Sounds good. And then uh, you can check us out on YouTube. Check us out at CKCC Radio on the, uh, the podcasting channel. And I don't have to plug Twitch because you're already here. Uh, but I've sold a t-shirt. So go to Redbubble and look for Shop CKCC and buy a shirt. Help support the channel. Sold my very first t-shirt and I'm excited about it. So put some money in my pocket and keep getting more content like this. But thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next stream.